In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to create a community in Viva Engage. If you can't find the option to create a community, it's possible that admins have disabled the option. But if the option is available, you can find it by heading to Communities in the left menu. Then scroll to the bottom and click Create a Community. On the next page, enter a name for the community at the top. We'll call ours Writers Questions. Then add an optional description below, explaining what the community is for. To add members, click the input box under Members, and enter the names or email addresses of the people you'd like to add, and select them from the list. And to create a private community, head across from the Settings header, and click Edit. Then click the Select box, and choose Private. Since we're making a community for questions and answers, we'll click the Select box under Default Publisher, and change it to Question, which allows users to select a best answer. But if you'd prefer your community to host conversations, instead of questions and answers, then leave this as discussion. You can also allow or disallow users to move conversations from other communities into this community. We'll disable that for now. Finally, click Create. Once you've made your community, you can customize it by adding a cover photo. Or by uploading an icon. And you can change the settings by clicking the three dots on the right side, and selecting settings in the pop-up menu. Now we've finished setting up the community, users can ask questions. And colleagues can answer the question by writing a comment under the post. Whoever asked the question can then mark the best answer, making it easier to find the solution if anyone else runs into the same problem. That's all for this video. Please leave a comment if this helped, and hit the subscribe button for more Microsoft videos. Also, for all the latest Microsoft news, and free exclusive resources, be sure to click the link in the description, and grab our weekly newsletter.